This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 1-2, problem number 17. Tom has nine cards indicating numbers with symbols. He starts putting them on the board so that each row and column has one card with each geometrical symbol and one with each number. Which card should go on the gray square? This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we are going to be doing the solution. To start, I've rewritten this sentence over here because it's very important we have a good understanding of what it is we're trying to do. Well, from the problem, we know that Tom has nine cards with numbers and symbols and that he starts putting them on the board so that each row and column has one card with each geometrical symbol. So each row and column must have triangles, squares, and circles, and one with each number. So we're gonna have one, two, and three of those shapes for each row and column. So we'll have one of one shape, two of another shape, and three of the other shape for each row and column. And we know that we're trying to find which card should go on the gray square. So that's over here. We're trying to figure out what card should go there. So in order to do that, we should take a closer look at this row over here. We can see that we already have this card with two triangles placed on it. So again, looking at our requirements for each row and column, we can see that we've already placed our triangle and we've already used the number two because we have two triangles. That means we're trying to place squares and circles in these two remaining these two remaining tiles of the board. So one of them has squares and one of them has circles. Let's start by figuring out where the circles are because we have more circle cards on the board already. So it'll be easier for us to figure out where the remaining circle card goes. Well, we can see due to this card over here that there cannot be any more cards with circles on them in this entire column because keep in mind of our restriction for each row and column we have a card with triangles one with squares and one with circles we cannot have two with circles in the same column or row so that means that we cannot be placing our circle card over here because again a, we have a restriction so that means that our circle card must go over here. And then we need to figure out how many circles there must be over there. Well, we can already see that we've already used the circle card with one, and we've already used the circle card with two, and we only have the ones with three, two, or one. We've already used one and two, so we must be using the circle card with three circles. And this is very important because looking back at our restrictions, now we've placed the circle and we've used three. So what do we have left? We have one and square for, and this is for, and that is for this remaining column. We have to place squares and we have to use the number one. So that means that the card over here must have one square in order to meet the requirements, which means that the card that should go in the gray square is answer choice D, one square. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.